question. What kind of bear is best? As True Office fans, we should follow that up with Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. While what Jim asked was obviously a joke, it got us thinking. How would you compare bears? So we sat down and came up with a few metrics to answer that question, at least in our own minds. Let's jump right to the comparisons and see where we end up. For this video, we're limiting our comparisons to the most prominent bears in the world. The Asian black bear, the American black bear, the American brown bear, and the polar bear. This is probably the best and easiest place to start, so we're going to look at size. Let's go from smallest to largest. For that, we'll start with the Asian black bear. Easily recognizable by its white collar and furry mane, the Asian black bear is found from the mountains of Afghanistan to the islands of Japan. It comes in at the bottom of our list, at around 75 inches long, and usually topping out at around 450 pounds for males. Next up, we have the American black bear. As its name would imply, it's easily identifiable by its close black fur. Unlike the Asian black bear, which often has lighter spots on its muzzle, the American black bear is solid black, head to toe. Found all over North America in forested areas, the American black bear is also up to around 75 inches in length, like the Asian black bear, but it's much heavier, as are most Americans, weighing in at around 600 pounds. Our next entry is the brown bear, more specifically the American brown bear. In general, species of brown bear range across North America and Europe, but the largest of the species are along the west coast of North America and Kodiak Island off the coast of Alaska. The regular grizzly bear of North America comes in at around 7 feet tall and frequently weighs above 700 pounds. The Kodiak, on the other hand, frequently stands over 8 feet tall and weighs almost 900 pounds. The largest bear on our list, and the largest bear in the world, is the polar bear. An interesting fact about the polar bear is that even though bears are land animals, the polar bear is considered by zoologists as a marine animal because it spends so much of its life in the water hunting seals. This behemoth comes in tops on our list, weighing in over 1,300 pounds and easily standing over 10 feet tall. With that, the polar bear easily wins our size comparison. We thought an interesting follow-up to this was claw size. So, let's take a quick look at the different claw sizes of these species. The American black bear usually has claws around an inch to an inch and a half long. The Asian black bear primarily uses its claws for digging and climbing, much like other bears. It has claws of up to an inch to an inch and three quarters long. The polar bear is next on our list with claws up to three and three quarter inches long. And the brown bear takes this comparison with claws up to four inches long. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be alerted of the latest content from the most. The next clear way that we saw to compare the different bear species was to compare diet. We thought this would be a great comparison metric because it shows adaptability to the environment. If we look at bears in general, those with a more restrictive diet like the giant panda, whose diet is more than 99% bamboo, is limited to the environments where bamboo is plentiful. Others, who are more omnivores, meaning they eat everything in their environment, can thrive in a wider range of environments. For our list, it may come as a surprise, but the polar bear is at the bottom of our list. This is because it's very similar to the giant panda in that its food primarily comes from a single source. While a lot of the others on our list are omnivores, the polar bear is almost solely a carnivore, getting more than 95% of its calories from seals. Our next two were a toss-up. We went with the American black bear next. True omnivores, the black bear feeds on nuts, seeds, insects, and small to medium animals, they can take down a deer from time to time, but 
that's not their primary food source. Very close to this, we have the Asian black bear. Having a very similar diet to the American black bear of primarily vegetation and small to medium sized animals, including hoofed animals like deer and livestock. The Asian black bear separates itself in that it's been observed in the fall making platforms in trees to collect nuts as they fall. This little distinction, in our opinion, edges the Asian black bear just ahead of the American black bear. At the top of our list, we have the brown bear. In the whole range of brown bears, they are our winner in the diet category. Having very similar diets to the black bears on our list, the brown bear is primarily a vegetarian, eating mostly seeds, nuts, grasses, roots, and bulbs. What separates the brown bears on our list, for us anyway, is size, speed, and power. This allows them to hunt a wider range of large animals, including moose, elk, and caribou, in addition to small animals and fish. This wide variety of food options puts it at the top of this category. We know it's only two categories, but let's see where they shake out to answer the question, what kind of bear is best? Based on the information here, we at the most would put the brown bear as the best bear. While not as large as the polar bear, it is still exceptionally large with the longest claws. What really separates it for us is the differentiation in the diet. This allows the brown bear to thrive in a wide variety of environments and adapt more readily to any changes in that environment. This clearly isn't an exact science. And just like Dwight, it's a ridiculous question. You probably have a different thought on the outcome, but that's okay. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What video would you like to see next? Leave that comment below as well. We post weekly focusing on the best, the worst, or the most amazing content. Until next time.